Welcome back to the mix. I'm ABD. Today we just have a quick video. We're going to unbox a guitar from Donner, the DJP 1000 or ES335 style guitar. And it came in this big box. This was from Amazon. And uh, I'm not really sure which is the top because it's saying that this is the top instead of that or that. So hopefully when I open it, um, the guitar is in a good configuration, but I'm going to lay it down to avoid any issues, and then we will cut it open and see which orientation the guitar indeed is. So we have one box inside of another box, and luckily I did have it standing up the right way. It also comes with a gig bag. Um, this was on sale for Black Friday. Usually these go for $3.99, which is about $200 less than the Epiphone counterpart. And uh, those don't come with a gig bag. We should be able to lift this out. And just like that, we have a gig bag with a guitar. And inside the box, we also get an instrument cable, which is also from Donner. This is made in China. It's actually a pretty nice quality cable. It's nice quality and also comes with a cable and a little Allen wrench. Again, pretty nice quality cotton cable with fake leather looking material. Branded with a donner. Oh, it's a 10 feet cable. Close that box back up. What we have, what we're left with is this gig bag and a guitar inside. It feels like it's a nice weight. It is a maple body and a rosewood neck and a maple neck with, according to the website, neck through construction, which on a guitar of this price is pretty impressive stuff. And you can't see it. They painted over it um, like a normal 335, but they do claim that it is neck through construction. And we have a zipper here. Let's open it on up. And inside we have plastic wrapping around the guitar with a rubber band. Let's take the guitar all the way out. It is in black. It is a black guitar. Siding stuff. Rubber band off. I do like on, on this guitar, on this type of Donner, the headstock has a little bump on top. And the Donner logo, I think, looks nice. We have a little sticker. It says Jazz. And uh, we have some wrapping around the strings. So let's first reveal what the guitar does indeed look like. First impressions are good. Um, that's a pretty looking guitar. I feel like I might hear something inside. Is that bad? Is that a bad thing? We'll find out. What we have is wrapping around the strings, so we can take that off. Don't see that very often from the factory, but we do here. There's a plastic wrapping on the truss rod cover. It's kind of coming off. There's covering on the pickups and on the pick guard. And uh, let's see what's going on here. We have a switch. We have coil tap. It's telling us that we have coil tap. And what were we hearing? Is there something inside? Is that a pick? Oh, looks like a piece of paper. How weird. There's like a piece of sandpaper inside the body. And there's still something in there. There's a block down the center, so it's not fully hollow to avoid... Uh, some feedback issues. I can see what that is. Turn it upside down and hopefully you can get it to fall out. Well, something appears to have fallen out, but huh? There's some soldering. It looks like some leftover from soldering some metal. It should have soldered maybe something down. So let's hope that 
everything's connected inside because it might not be. Let's go ahead and take all this plastic off because it will look much better than we do. Hmm, looks like there's some tarnishing that's happened uh, to the pickups, maybe? Let me get a close up of that. The quality construction on the F holes is nice. There's not any kind of sharp edges or grossness. It's nice and smooth and it looks good. These are also coil tap. So they have push pull pots for each for each of the two volume pots. And like we talked about, maple body, maple neck, with neck through construction, even though it's all hidden away here. And uh, a rosewood fretboard, real rosewood fretboard, which looks nice with uh, trapezoid inlays, which also look nice. The nut, I'm not quite sure what material the nut is, but it looks really nice. It's seated in there really well. Really clean installation of that nut and the binding. That's better than you would see from uh, even Gibson sometimes. You get really nasty looking nut installations with finish coming over the side or even the whole nut kind of sticking out a little bit. But in this case, it looks really good and really professional. All of this is really great looking. That headstock, like I said, is small. The tuning machines are pretty much in line. They're Grover-like tuning machines. They feel okay. And you have silver pickups and silver hardware, which the hardware looks pretty good. It doesn't look like uh, any of the, the bridge is, is loose, which is nice. It is not in tune, but that's to be expected. The switch feels a little a little cheap. But that's okay. Doesn't feel bad. The pots feel good. Looks like they are uh, full-sized pots. You can see them in there from the side. There. Like I said, there's that tarnishing on the uh, on the pickups, which hopefully will come off with some polish. But we did have that um, kind of sandpaper in there, and we did have that uh, soldering material kind of floating around in there. So hopefully. All the electronics and everything are good. So just very quickly, we'll plug it in just to make sure that the electronics work. And then in a separate video, we'll, we'll do a uh, more in-depth review of the guitar in general and if uh, if we recommend it. So let's plug it in and see what, what happens. Hopefully, it's all good. So we're plugging it into a tube amp, the Friedman Runt 20. And we're on the clean channel. So the neck pickup works. Middle position works. Let's just tune it up and just give it a quick sound test. And then we'll be back for more of an actual review. So the tuning machines feel a little kind of cheapish, but not terrible. A little buzzing maybe on the D string on the bridge. Yeah, that seems to be in tune there. So the nut is cut well, and uh, these these pickups sound pretty good. So yeah, that was a quick video, a quick unboxing, a look at the Donner DJP-1000, or it looks like they just call it the Jazz, like it says in the headstock there. So we'll be back soon with a full review of, of the guitar. If you found that interesting, or if you're looking forward to that second video, please remember to like and subscribe below for more content. So thank you for watching, take care, and play guitar forever and ever and ever and ever. Mm -hmm.